enero. West Bioside presents 7th Annual InnoPack Pharma Conflex, a UBM event. The Indian pharmaceutical industry is expected to grow to 55 billion US dollars by 2020, emerging as the sixth largest pharmaceutical market globally by absolute size. And the Indian pharma packaging market is expected to grow at a compounded annual growth rate of 9.2% till 2023. With this fast expanding industry inside, UBM India and CPHI conferences organized the 7th annual InnoPack Pharma Confex in Mumbai recently. The conference brought packaging developers, technologists, researchers, scientists and quality managers together on one platform to discuss the top packaging trends and developments that are paving the way for the pharmaceutical industry. The conference started with a lamp lighting ceremony followed by the welcome address by Rahul Deshpande, Group Director, UBM India. The Indian packaging industry constitutes 4% of the global packaging industry. The boom in organized retail and e-commerce boosts the packaging sector coupled with the economic growth in the country. The purchasing power of India's middle class population in terms of healthcare services particularly medicines, has increased. Alongside innovations in nanotechnology aid the growth and expansion of the plastic pharmaceutical packaging segment. We formally begin the seventh edition of InnoPack Pharma Confex on behalf of UBM India. I would like to thank our guests, speakers, and all our business partners and our sponsors for their support in creating InnoPack Pharma Confex 2018, the success that it is. Thank you. Dara B. Patel, Secretary General of the Indian Drug Manufacturers Association, gave a presentation on the trends and opportunities in the Indian pharmaceutical packaging industry. Well, packaging assumes a very great significance when it comes to highly regulated pharmaceutical market, which all of you are aware. World over, there have been many packaging innovations, and India exports more than half of its pharmaceutical produce to the regulated markets, the semi-regulated, and the third world countries. But if you see the ratio today, we are the highest as far as uh, regulated markets is concerned. And that's where even our packaging material stands out. Innovation is one of the major requirements to boost India's pharma exports. The Indian pharma sector, ladies and gentlemen, the revenue for 2017 is approximately 32 billion, with exports of 16.8 billion. The exports are expected to reach almost 40 billion by 2020. And if you take another 15, 16 billion of uh, the domestic sale, you can imagine the huge potential for packaging materials in the country, which will be nothing less than 3.5 to 4 billion US dollars. An enlightening talk on the importance of safety through packaging was delivered by the president of World Packaging Organization, Professor Pierre Pienaar. One of the things that I find in, in, in education, in the students that, uh, that I'm educating in the, over the last 30 odd years, is the lack of information that the student has in their designing regarding the physical and the chemical properties. You cannot design packaging if you don't know that. And you need to know that to the nth degree to get it right. We're not finite in what the migration levels are in that particular packaging. We need to understand permeation, we need to understand fixed law to ensure that we uh, are giving the product the best possible shelf life. But remember the economies of scale. We all know that glass is inert, so then why don't you put everything in glass? Because it's too expensive. Now the same applies to laminated material as well. So you need to seek the best one, but you need to understand the permeation theory to do it. As part of the Confex, West Pharmaceuticals presented their pharma packaging component program for generic injectables called Exceltra. The FDA and, and obviously the political institutions over in the U.S. want to make sure that generics really do reach the market to make sure that patients indeed are accessing the best medications possible at the cheapest price available. So what has the generic industry uh, done as a result of these, all of these trends that are happening in the marketplace, uh, particularly in the U.S.? 
So the, the response has been really to develop products that are in niche areas. So a lot of you are actually uh, going into uh, uh, creating products that are either biosimilars or just hard to produce products such that th there's less competition in those niche areas while you're still providing a very good product at an accessible price, for the, uh, particularly for the U.S. patients. On the other side of the break, we take a look at the highlights of the third India Packaging Awards. West, Bioside presents 7th Annual InnoPack Pharma Convex, a UBM event. West, Bioside presents 7th Annual InnoPack Pharma Convex, a UBM event. Well, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we gather here to recognize thought leadership by unveiling the pharma packaging innovators. The awards really celebrate the thinkers, the creators, the movers and the shakers that really break new grounds in pharma packaging space. But before we proceed with the evening with the awards, I would like to invite on stage a gentleman who actually requires absolutely no introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome with a huge round of applause for the opening address, Mr. Yogesh Mudras, Managing Director, UBM India. When first introduced the Packaging Awards three years back, it was the first and only platform to recognize the pharmaceutical packaging industry for their efforts, contributions, and innovations. Over the past three years, India Packaging Awards has created an indelible reputation for handpicking and recognizing the present and potential leaders who drive the industry to incredible heights. Keenly contested, coveted, and closely observed by key stakeholders within the domain, the awards this year received more than 160 nominations from 60 companies this year, which is a growth of more than 30% over last year. In this context, it is extremely heartening to see participation not only from large MNCs, but also from relatively fledgling companies that are raising the bar for the packaging industry in terms of innovation and excellence. To all the participants involved tonight, uh, an outstanding evening awaits you. You put in hours in your innovations, and tonight is where they're recognized amongst your peers. And it's your peers that generate new enthusiasm and new innovations for tomorrow and the years to come. I'd like to just spend a moment in telling you a little bit about the World Packaging Organization. We focus predominantly in the education, in the, in the education aspect of the industry because it's in education that will bring packaging to where it should be into the future. And over the last three years, we have directly trained 1,400 people in their own countries in 39 different programs. And that which we've invested in this last year, we will be tripling in the year to come. So we have now embarked on a serious program of education in the science, the engineering, and the technology of packaging. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish each and every one of you the heartiest uh, of, uh, of good luck for tonight, and I, and I hope that those who don't win will still be inspired by those who do, and that next year, maybe then we will see you again. And those who win, don't rest on your laurels. Make sure you are back here again next year. Our process for selecting the winners has indeed been a wonderful journey over the last two and a half months. We have received over 160 nominations, which is a 40% increase over the previous edition. The process followed for selecting the winners has been very rigorous and exhaustive. Once UVM received the nominations, the information was processed and further assessed to qualify the nominees. A unique coding system was then employed to formalize the nominations. Once filtered, our esteemed jury members deliberated and further discussed the entries during the jury meet held on the 21st of May 2018 at Sahara Star. After a stringent rating system, our process advisor Ernest Young has been instrumental in determining 
the winners of the prestigious packaging awards. Well, I'd now like to request Mr. Yogesh Madras to accompany Mr. Ranjit Paul, as it's time, ladies and gentlemen, to meet these think tanks who I would, you know, request all our esteemed jury members to come on stage. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned at the outset, that tonight is all about acknowledging the best in pharma packaging industry and honoring them. And well, now is that moment that we've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. Our first segment of awards. Can we open our awards with a huge thunderous round of applause already in advance? And our first category tonight is excellence in packaging machinery, machinery manufacturers. And in this category, ladies and gentlemen, we have two awards to give away tonight. I would like to call on stage Mr. Yogesh Madras, MD UBM India, to present the special recognition, excellence in packaging machinery, machinery manufacturers. I'm, I'm hearing any that that was the first name which came in AcuPac. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to give away our second award in the same category, I'd like to once again invite on stage Mr. Ashok Kumar Bhattacharya, Executive Director, Country Manager at Takeda Pharmaceuticals, India Private Limited. Well, let's see who the award goes to. Mr. Bhattacharya, uh, I think you have to give it away. It's LMAC Packages, India Private Limited. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have the award for the category of excellence in R&D cost improvement. And to give away the award, I would like to invite on stage Mr. Chakravarti, AVPS, CEO, Managing Director, EcoBliss India and Global Ambassador, World Packaging Organization. Dr. Reddy Celebrities Limited. Our next category tonight is Excellence in R&D Development of New Product Technology. And to give away the award, I would like to invite on stage Mr. Shanak Dave and Mr. Suresh Patatil. Winner for tonight and give a good clap for them is Rahul Farma. Now it is time for a special recognition, the UBM Initiative Recognition, to explain which I would like to invite on stage Conference Director UBM India, Mr. Ranjit Paul. See, as you're aware, you know, we get a lot of participation across industry verticals, and, and these go through a robust jury process. Not all participants went through the scoring system. Uh, at such time, you know, we from UBM India would like to recognize a particular company, which according to us, is doing exceptionally well in the space of packaging. To give away this recognition, first of all, I would like to invite on stage Mr. Yogesh Mudras. The felicitation is for West Pharmaceuticals. West Pharmaceutical Services Incorporation Accelerator Components Program provides great value to generic injectable manufacturers by creating high quality elastomers formula with speed and simplicity that generic injectable manufacturers require to bring their products to market quickly. Hence, Accelerator epitomizes quality, speed, and simplicity in injectables, packaging, and generic manufacturers. I would like to request the West Pharma team to come on stage, please. All right, 
ladies and gentlemen, we're going to move ahead with the next set of award categories. And the next category is Excellence in Sustainable Packaging. And to present this award, I'd like to request on stage Mr. Ashok Kumar Bhattacharya, Executive Director, Country Manager at Takeda Pharmaceuticals India Private Limited, and Mr. Shanat Dave of Optel Group. Please join me on stage to do the honors. And the award Audience goes to Arvindo Pharma Limited. Moving forward, it's time to announce the award for the category Excellence in Enhanced User Experience. And to give away this award, I'd like to invite on stage Professor Pierre Pianar, the Director of Education of the Australian Institute of Packaging and also President World Packaging Organization. So. And the winner is Sipla Limited. Moving forward, it's time to announce the award for the category JK Papers Presents Excellence in Packaging Design, Graphics and Brand Value Add. And to give away this award, I'd like to invite on stage Mr. N.K. Khanna, Ex-Executive Vice President, Works Unit of JK Papers Limited, and Mr. Chakravarti, ABPS CEO, Managing Director, EcoBliss India. Award goes to... Piramal Enterprises Limited. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, time to announce the award for the category JK Papers Presents Excellence in Packaging Design Point of Sale. And to present this award, I request Professor Pierre, the Director of Education of Australian Institute of Packaging and also President World Packaging Organization. Please join me on stage, sir. Aurobindo Pharma Limited. With that, let's move on to the next set of categories in which the first category is JK Papers presents Excellence in Packaging Design, Print and Production Quality. And to present this award, I would like to call on stage Mr. Suresh Patatil, Chief Executive Officer, Fering Pharmaceuticals. And the winner for tonight is uh, Glenmark Pharmaceuticals Limited. Our next category is JK Papers presents Excellence in Packaging Design, Shapes and Structures. And to present this award, I would like to call on stage Mr. Yogesh Madras, MD UBM India. The winner is Aurobindo Pharma again. I would like to quickly call on stage the winners, all the winners, the jury members and the UBM team. Please come on stage. We have a group photo opportunity. India Packaging Awards, I would like to congratulate them. And also a big thank you to them, sir, for encouraging and motivating. Like we work in the back office and we getting an award in front of so many people. It's really amazing and an honorable moment. It definitely is a, is a platform that encourages innovation. I mean, we see that each and every year, uh, the types of awards that are handed out 
are actually uh, for for the types of products. The products keep getting better and better and more sophisticated. And again, that's uh, really a tribute to the great work that's being that's taking place here in uh, in India. This is a fantastic, you know, motivational for the entire team. You know, being into a generic market, we have very limited, you know, scope of you know innovative kind of thing. But you know, we took a challenge. and we have been awarded in the sustainable package innovative and you know point of sale so certain things which are very very unique so we should appreciate ubm you know they are also looking into that intricacies of you know particular things and encouraging people to uh, be more in our sustainable or a reusable or you know tamper even kind of things on behalf of my team i should say that you know we are all thrilled to win this award it's a recognition of all the effort that the team has put in over several months i think it's a fantastic uh, platform uh, you know getting so many companies together uh, on a single day exchanging thoughts exchanging information and it's inspiring because you know you get to see you know especially for the younger members of the packaging team they get to see the kind of innovation the kind of work that is happening and it really inspires them to uh you know you know it even more and hopefully next year we will come back here and you know we should uh, have one more award for us i think india has got lot of resources the intelligence to innovate and i think this platform helps to showcase to the world what india can do india healthcare industry can do in terms of packaging West Bioside presents seventh annual InnoPack Pharma Confex, a UBM event. Focus, ideate, innovate, enable.